In this video, I'm going to try a very demanding title on the Pimax 5K Plus and on the Pimax 8K. And this title is Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Also, I'm going to try it on the Vive Pro, all on my GDX 1080 Ti system. And this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So today I'm trying out Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. And as you know, this is a very demanding title, even on current generation headsets. And I'm trying everything out on my rig, which is running a 1080 Ti graphics cards. So without further ado, let's dive in into the test. All right, I'm now here in the main menu of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice with the Pimax 5K+. Plus. The picture looks good, but well, the blacks, they look more grayish. Everything is black here around me, right? So it's, it's actually very nice to compare the black levels later with the Vive Pro. Let's continue and see what we can do about frame rates in this game on the Pimax 5K+, Plus on the GDX 1080 Ti. So we are now in the game here in Hellblade Senua Sacrifice and we are on the very high graphic settings. And I can tell you directly on these very high graphic settings, it looks not good. I mean, the, the picture looks great, everything looks beautiful, but it is very stuttery and not smooth at all. But why don't we have a look at the actual FPS right now? And let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, it's more like 20 FPS. Yep. So no. Very high graphic settings. <laughs> it's not gonna fly here. Let's change the graphics to high. Okay, so graphics have changed. Still looks beautiful. <laughs> and I have the feeling it's a bit less stuttery, but it's still not smooth. So let's have a look how the how the FPS settings have changed. Yeah. Okay, not much more. 25 now. 25-ish. I mean, it looks great. It looks really nice with the white FOV, the same thing, like just like in most games, it is just great to have this ultra wide FOV, but I don't think at 25 frames per second, you're going to really enjoy that. So let's go down again. So graphics, no, that was controls, graphics, the next one, medium. Okay, so we, we directly saw here at the stairs the quality changed and oh yes, so now now her movements are very smooth. So that works much, much better now. Let me walk around a bit more to see if I would play this on medium. Yeah, so now now her movements are smooth. So like this, I could play this game. All right, so now we have like 40, 45, 46, 45-ish. Now it's 45-ish. So at this FPS rate, it is super playable and it still looks great. So low. Oh yeah, wow, big difference. Did you see that with the stairs? Now that looks like, I don't know, like in the early 2000s. Oh, wow. Did you see that there was some kind of eye that looked at me? Wow, this game is crazy. This game is crazy. So let's have a look now at the, at the FPS setting. Again, it's the wrong one. All right, so now it's 60-ish. Mm-hmm. Okay, so definitely there's a difference. But medium medium looked great and it still it worked it 
worked smoothly and I could absolutely play it at medium. Okay, let me also have a look at, at the screen door effect and the colors. So here I can, in the dark scenes you can't really see it, but I can look a bit in the sky. So yeah, I can see it. If I look for it, it's the same thing again. I can see it if I want to see it, but in normal gaming mode, I think I wouldn't really, really see it. Yeah, it's good. Everything is clear, just as you know how the 5K Plus looks like. Okay, let's go over now and compare this with the Pimax 8K. Okay, this is the main menu of Hellblade Senua Sacrifice, but this time with the Pimax 8K. And yeah, it also looks good. Just, I think the blacks are a bit, a tiny bit darker than on the Pimax 5K+. Plus. Okay, let's go into the game right now. So here we are in game also on the highest quality settings. It does look great as well here in Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Just it is also, yeah, not smooth on the highest quality settings. Um, you could probably play it, but I don't think you're going to enjoy it very much. So also let's check here. Yeah, okay, 25-ish. So the next one is high. So yeah, also here, still not perfectly smooth. I'm using PyTool 1.0 and um, Steam Super Sampling at 100%. Yeah, okay, 27. So, not really, real, not really a big difference to a very high. And yeah, you can tell by how not perfectly smooth it is. <laughs> Good. Let's also here go to the next to the next setting here. And this was the one that I actually liked the best in terms of performance on the 5K+. Plus. So. Okay, yes. Also here, you can tell now that now it's now it's really playable. So with this setting, yes, I could absolutely play Hellblade on the 5K Plus and on the 8K. And the graphical details are still really good. Anyways, let's have a look at the frame rates here as well. And here we have now 50-ish even. Okay. Even a bit more than we had on the medium settings on on the 5K plus. Interesting. So, for this this time I'm not doing the wiggle test because I know it's going to be there again the problem with with the Pimax 8K which like where the world moves a bit with you if you wiggle fast, but honestly, you're not going to wiggle your head like this when you play that. So, that is really unrealistic, so I'm not doing it here right now with this game. Okay, so yeah, 50-ish, 51. Okay, let's also go to the to the low settings now. Runs very well. Good, let's have a look at the frame rates here as well. So now we have like 66-ish or even 70 sometimes. Interesting. Yeah, okay, 65 I would probably see as an average. 65, 66, yeah. Okay, so then you know what to expect here if you go for the low settings. All right, let's compare the screen door effect. So, as I've told you already with the other games, I personally 
don't see a huge difference between the 8K and the 5K plus. And again, if I look at the bright sections, I still again personally see that horizontal setup, no, that diagonal setup of the 8K more than I see the horizontal setup of the subpixel structure of the 5K plus. But again, this might be different in somebody else's perception. For me, it's just like that. Okay, so now let's try this on the Vive Pro. All right, I'm now in the main menu of Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice with the Vive Pro. And well, the first thing that comes to my mind now is, wow, the blacks look so much better. It is Honestly speaking, there's no comparison. This is really so much better than on the Pimax 5K Plus and on the Pimax 8K. It's just black. And the the colors, the, the blue here and the skin color and everything and the, the red of these letters, they truly pop with this black background. It does look better and the clarity is nice. So yeah, again, if you're coming from the Vive Pro, don't hope that the clarity is going to be better on the Pimax 8K or on the Pimax 5K Plus. On the Pimax 5K Plus, it's very similar, but clarity wise, um, don't expect like big differences. Just expect big differences for the FOV. So now also let's go into the game and yeah, let's find out. Now we're in the game with the Vive Pro in Hellblade Senua Sacrifice on the highest quality settings. And now in the game, I can tell that we have the toilet paper roll problem again. Yes, the FOV is really ridiculous now after having used that on the Pimax 5K Plus and on the Pimax 8K. Well, in the main menu, well, couldn't really see it, right? Because everything is black around you. But here in the game, now I can tell, okay, I'm just a spectator with these, yeah, with these toilet paper rolls, like st sticking <laughs> onto my eyes. Yeah, anyways, um, from the clarity of the picture on the super high graphic settings, yes, it looks great. It looks truly, truly amazing, actually. Um, and what the frame rate is concerned, yes, I could play this. I could play this on very high quality settings now on the Vive Pro. It feels smooth. It feels smooth enough. So why don't we have a look at the frames per second now? Okay, 45 frames per second. So yeah, very stable. So this seems like yeah, re reprojection is setting this to 45 frames per second. But it works really, really well. Very, no, now we are, we are on, no, not low. Let's go back and let's change that to high. Okay, so high quality settings. Feels just as smooth. And yeah, so actually you could see it can it can do more. Sometimes it's at 80, sometimes it's at 70, and then it goes back to 45 for the reprojection to kick in. So so here we have it's more like. 69-ish, around 69. So, this works great, medium. So, this was the quality setting that worked really well on the Pimax headsets. So, yeah, the graphical, the fidelity is not as good anymore, we know that. Yeah, 90. Good, so let me have a look at the, 
at the screen door effect. Yep, very, very comparable to the 8K. Probably a bit worse than the 8K. So again, you have this diagonal subpixel structure, which I personally find a bit more disruptive and than the horizontal one of the 5K+. Plus. But again, I must say this again, you will have like very comparable clarity with the Vive Pro as compared to the Pimax headsets. So if you're coming from from the Vive Pro and the Samsung Odyssey, don't expect like a big leap. Just expect a big leap on the FOV. The FOV definitely is a problem right now for me again. And I wouldn't play this. I wouldn't play this on the Vive Pro, even though the colors are better, the blacks are perfectly black, but I wouldn't want to play this anymore on the Pimax, uh, on the Vive Pro, simply because the FOV. So I would, without a doubt, go for the Pimax headsets. As you could tell, you can play Hellblade Senua Sacrifice on the Pimax 5K Plus and on the Pimax 8K on a GDX 1080 Ti computer, especially on the medium quality settings that works rather well and it looks amazing, especially with this ultra wide FOV. It's just fantastic and you've never seen Hellblade like this. However, the frame rates in general are not so great, right? They are acceptable and they play well on medium and low settings, but high and very high setting don't really work well. And one problem is that Hellblade is actually running on an older version of the Unreal Engine and that's why this game cannot take advantage of the new rendering algorithms that Pimax has introduced in the latest Pi tool. So that's why you have to tick that box that makes Pi Tool compatible with these older versions of the Unreal Engine. And this tick box is like parallel, parallel projections, allow for parallel projections to work. And well, that's why you don't have these, these better frame rates. Probably these frame rates could be improved if Hellblade also gets updated to the latest Unreal Engine. So it could be that in the near future, if that update happens, that you can also expect 20 or 30% better frame rates on the Pimax headsets with Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Now, comparing that experience to the Vive Pro, well, I wouldn't play this with the Vive Pro anymore. And the reason is simply the FOV. Even though the colors look better, the darks are much better than on the Pimax headsets, still, the FOV is just such a limiting factor now after having seen that on the Pimax headsets that I wouldn't go back even though you have these much higher frame rates and the better blacks and the, the more vibrant colors. Still, I would play this on the Pimax 5K Plus or on the Pimax 8K simply because it's just such a big difference to play this with the white FOV. And that's it for this video. I really hope it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up so that more people can find this channel. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.